Hey you guys! Welcome back to another month of Eclectic Stash Busting. So, um, you know, these last few months we have decided to, instead of doing a, a um, theme project, we've decided to just work on things that we've needed to finish or some projects we've been wanting to do. So this month I decided to try out making a folio. So here's what I've done. Um, I've created this for a pen pal of mine in Germany. So I wanted to send her a few little vintage goodies. So this is what I've um, I've created. Um, so this is the Tim Holtz Wallflower collection, I think it is. It's, you know, one of the very first botanical um, stacks that he came up with. And so this is what I added. Um, one of these botanical um, pieces here and this cute little paper doll and this is just some um, vintage German um, paper there and this is a little um, well this is from the Prima from the um, I can't remember the collection this is one of the Prima quote stickers there and so this is what I've done I added some vintage lace here to the side and then as you open it up, let me lay this down here. I have, um, I put a pocket here. This is some old vintage lace. And also I wanted to share with you guys. So I purchased a, um, a box of vintage lace from eBay. And so when it came, these are some of the pieces that was inside. And it kind of made my heart sad because this, this piece, all these, um, a lot of these are hand tatted laces and tatting pieces here. In this one, it said um, crocheted by Helen Shaw, Grandma. And that was so sad. You know, my grandmother is not a seamstress, but, um, you know, I would want to hang on to this forever if she made something like this. So, but, but I'm happy to have it and I will use it for, um, you know, special projects. But I love that. Isn't it so pretty and delicate? So pretty. Very special. So I made a pocket here, and inside this pocket, um, I put a piece of, you know, the Tim Holtz wallpaper and a few of these music cards. These are really large, large music decks cards. And some of these. Oh, I didn't realize those had writing on the back. These pages here from an antique book that I had. I'll stick those right there in that pocket. And then I made this little cutie, um, little tiny little journal here. Little bitty little journal. I didn't really decorate it up, but, you know, this is... I don't, this was from a, um, gosh, a really old collection. Um, let me check real quick what the name of it is. Okay, so this was from the, the Marion Smith Designs Junk Gypsy. And it just has some, it's a six by six, but it has some really pretty, papers in it and so I used those for the little mini album. A little tiny little junk journal there. Go in this little tuck. Then over here on this side, here's a pocket here. These are just some of those um, old film things here. Doesn't say they're old. And these tags are from the, um, I don't know if you guys remember or not, from Jolie's way back in probably 2012. They did a, um, French General did a line of products with Jolie's. And these are some of the French General tags. They're, they're fabric. I love those. So, you know, I've tried to start using those. So they go there in that pocket. And then I have another pocket here, which I've added some of these buttons. And then... On the side, oh, here's a sheet of those Prima quotes and um, words there. 
Put those in this little side pocket. And then on the back, I created this flip out, which can also be used, you know, as a journal journal piece. And so this is from one of those um, Eden Holden books, and this one is actually the um, the country diary of an Edwardian lady. So this image and this little um, poem right here came from that. And then I added some more vintage tatting to the side here. And then as it opens up, I put a little pocket here. This is another one of the, um, the little quote pieces out of the book. And then I just added random labels and just some fussy cut pieces in here. And that goes right in there. So it's just a simple folio, but I thought that it would be a cute way to send some, some happy mail. And then also some other things that I have been working on. So I mentioned the French general um, item. So I had I had some adhesive backed um, fabric that was also French general. And um, so, you know, that brought to mind that I needed to start using that as well. So I just made up a few little pieces to go with the French general theme here. And this is that adhesive backed fabric. <clears throat> I just made it just a little little flip out here. These are just items that um, then I can add to a journal later. This is one of those song decks, music decks cards. And on the back I put another little pocket. That's that fabric adhesive fabric there. There's one piece. And this is just a little ephemera snippet piece here with some fabric on the back. And these are those, um, I don't even know what they're called. They're little, probably two by two little squares that you can buy in a, um, for a sample pack. And so I have a few of those that I've used as well. And a tag with another little fabric piece there. And these are those vintage slide mounts. I just covered those with some, you know, some themed um, paper that reminded me of the French general patterns. I'm probably going to maybe put some, some um, vintage stamps in here maybe. I haven't decided yet. Or maybe just a quote. Or one of those, um, you know, word stickers. Another tag. This is a piece of that delicate tatting. So pretty. And these are also from the um, Joe Lee's French General. They're little gold seals. Oh, they were so cute. This is a napkin. It's covered with a napkin. And here's another one. This one's fabric. And this, I made just another fold-out piece for a journal. Added some layering. These are Tim Holtz. This is that adhesive back to fabric. Just put a tab on it there. This will fold out. And there. And the last one. I altered a bag. I love that quote. Would you like an adventure now or shall we have our tea first? From Alice in Wonderland. And that is it. Sorry, you guys. It's been um, another very eventful month for us. And we are um, getting ready to go on vacation again. Beach trip with our, our boys. And then my son will be starting college here in a couple weeks. So hopefully... After that, things will slow down a little bit for us, and I can be more productive in my um, my crafting. But thanks for watching, and please go by and check out Anna, Christy, and Irene's channels. Anna is Stamper's Junction.
Christy is twins for me too, and Irene at Lucia Casso. See you next month.